Talks between the government and the soldiers were reported to have gone well. Je confirme mon accord. I confirm that we will take into account their demands. I will look to improve the soldiers' living and working conditions. I would like to reiterate, though, that this is not an acceptable way to highlight their demands and creates a negative image of our country, especially after our recent economic and diplomatic efforts. But minutes after the president's announcement, soldiers surrounded a house in Bouake, where Defense Minister Alain Richard Donwahi had been leading negotiations for the government. Shots were fired, and the minister and others were trapped inside as soldiers demanded more details about the president's offer. The standoff ended hours later, with some soldiers at least still confident about a breakthrough. The two-day mutiny has been spreading quickly in nine cities across Ivory Coast. The soldiers want more money, homes, and better working conditions. The events of the last few days underline a growing divide in Ivory Coast. Many Ivorians, including former rebels who are now members of the National Army, feel left behind by the country's fast economic growth. There is also a political power play ahead of an expected cabinet reshuffle. This is tapping into a wider sense that the government is not delivering for everybody. And certainly the fighters that supported Mr. Ouattara, the people particularly of the Force Nouvelle, feel that they have not been rewarded sufficiently for their support. There are just a few days before the nomination of a new president of the National Assembly and the country's first vice president. Some of the politicians wanting these positions are linked to these soldiers. Since President Ouattara took office in 2011, Ivory Coast has become Africa's fastest growing economy. But critics say the wealth is concentrated in the hands of a few, and the soldiers, many of whom have supported Ouattara, are among those who feel overlooked and ignored by the government. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abidjan.